when it comes to dating, the friend zone is the last place you want to be. Are you that person who always seems to land in the friend zone and you don't know why? You, you feel like you're perfect, you're following all the rules, but still something is missing and you're always just a friend? Getting out of the friend zone can be really tough. It's possible, but it's tough. So let's talk about the preventatives. Let's talk about the things that you might actually be doing wrong, even though you think you're doing everything right. Number one, don't go Dutch. Friends go Dutch. Business associates go Dutch. Possible lovers don't go Dutch. There's something to say about gender roles. Don't offer to pay, ladies. Don't do the fake reach. Don't pay half. Allow him to pay. You can pay in other ways, and that doesn't mean that you owe him anything sexually after. There are other ways that you can pay, but on the date, just being present, being effervescent, making him feel good about himself because you really are interested in him or else you wouldn't be there. Show him that. And then after the date, text him or call him and say, thank you so much. I really enjoyed that. Let him know that he did a good job and that you appreciate it. Number two, forget about surface conversations and get raw. If you want to be memorable, you have to be vulnerable. You have to express your quirks. You know, think about the people, the friends or people in your life who you really feel for, those people who are stickers. They stick in your heart. What is it about them? It's oftentimes the little things, right? It's not because they're so pretty or they're so sweet or they're so smart. It's their quirks. That's what you love. So why are we so afraid of showing that to other people? Because those are the things that they will fall in love with in us. Be vulnerable. Show your heart. Be real. If you Set the precedent by showing your heart, by showing your quirks, by being authentic, by getting raw, then they're going to do it back. And now you've connected on a heart level instead of just a surface level. Number three, flirt. You know, you might be having fun and it's cool, but if you leave out the romance, the flirt, you're not on a date. Be flirtatious. Pull them in. Show them that there is so much more where this is coming from. Make them want it. Number four, don't act like a buddy. You might like to go to beer bars and you might like football and you might like to wear jeans and t-shirts and baseball caps too, and that's fine, but you have to put effort into it. You are a woman. You are not his buddy. He doesn't need another buddy. So put some effort in. Try and dress up. You know, don't go to a beer bar and talk about football the whole time. Be a woman. Be feminine. Number five, stop being such a sarcastic bitch. Yes, you want to be witty, you want to have a comeback, you want to verbally joust, but oftentimes what we view as being witty and sarcastic is actually bitchy. And the reason is because he doesn't get your sar sarcasm yet. So you're saying something and you think it's so funny, but it's actually really cutting and biting and emasculating. And he's sitting there like, wow, why is she such a bitch? He might be smiling and going with it, but he's thinking like, geez, why is she being so difficult? Why is she cutting me down? You can be funny, but don't be sarcastic. Number six, easy going is nice. Having an opinion is better. So you don't want to be that person who never has an opinion, who's like, I don't know where we should go. I don't know what I feel like having. Whatever you want. No, have an opinion. Bring something to the table, or else why is he out with you? And number seven, make him imagine you in a sexual way. It's all about innuendos. So tell a story when you were wearing a bathing suit. Now, it doesn't have to be salacious. This is not about being overtly, you know, grossly sexual. This is about being sexy. You know, talk about how you really love rare steak because it just feels so good in your mouth. And, you know, a, a steak that's, that's well done, it's just, there's nothing to it. You don't get all the sensual flavors. You don't get that, that amazing soft mouth feel. Yeah, it might seem like it's over the top, but if you explain food in a sensual way, then you're going to start putting those thoughts in his mind about you. So those are seven ways to avoid the friend zone.